Hello there. Um, I've had a lot of interest on this piece. Um, it was created using Blender and Python API, so I'm just going to run through that today. Um, it's a lot simpler uh, than you think, so I'm just going to show you in 40 lines of code how to do that. So yeah, um, here I've just created a small file, 20 pixels by 20 pixels, just for this example. Reason being that larger images can take a lot longer. Uh, so I've created a new project. I've gone to scripting, I've hit new, and then from there we can then on the right side enter any Python that we need that's going to be talked with Blender. It's worth mentioning also that you'll need to install Pillow using pip um, using command line prior to this. So the free libraries that we're using is BPY. So BPY is used uh, for Blender and Python objects. Uh, and you can do most things using that. OS uh, and Sys they use the operating system. Uh, and what we're doing there is we're essentially just importing the pill library for pillow. So Blender has uh, a separate Python library repository, so that's why I've run that script there. From there we're going to use image.open and all that's going to do is just open up the uh, smiley that we created earlier. And then all we're doing here is we're just unpacking the image dimensions. So yeah, from here what we're doing as well is just setting uh, the height. And now we're just going to iterate through each pixel. So we do that with two for loops nested. So once that's done, we're then going to need to create a function. So just to tidy things up, so within there, we'll call it get pixel. So I'll just clear some space, and we've just got to consider what we're going to put in there. So we need x and y. So put that in, and we're also going to need z for the height, and also we're going to use now pillow or pills uh, get pixel function, which basically gets the R, G, and B um, values from each pixel. So I'm creating this function here, and we're just putting in the same information. And now we just need to unpack the RGB values with the function call. And we're now going to begin to use BPY. So now we create this variable qpipe, and this works by adding RGB values um, together and then we're using 765 because that's 255 which is the maximum value times 3. So we're doing that because we want the darker points to be higher than the lighter points in that example. Uh, we can reverse that and I'll show that later. But from here we're just using cube.mesh.primitive underscore cube underscore add. And what this does is just create a cube. Um, simple as that. So we put in our location x, y and we call our variable cube height. And scale we just do the same. So we just call cube height here. And following this we need to then create the colour. So we can do that by just creating a simple diffuse colour. So we need to create a material first. So here you can just call it whatever you like, I'm calling it diffuse for now. At this point we now just put in our values that we got from that function called getPixel. We're dividing it by 255 because Blender uses uh, values between 0 and 1. So we scale that down. Uh, and now we're just getting the current object. And finally, we're just going to append the color there for that diffuse color onto the object. So we do that with data dot zeros dot append. That's more or less it. So, within 40 lines, we can 
do this height map. So made a mistake. Um, we're all human, so I've got that wrong there. So with that one, just you need to add the alpha channel as well, which uh, in this context would just be one, and this should work. Yep, brilliant. So there you go. So it's relatively simple. So I'll just switch on cycles there. You can just see how it looks. That's basically it, really. Um, so yeah, you can scale this up, um, and we can also, as mentioned, we can look at inverting this. So with lighter colours going higher and darker colours going lower, so we can look at that. Yeah, the process doesn't take too long. We want to make light colours higher up. As you see there, I just removed the 765. Yeah, if we run it again now, you should see that it. There you go. So now the darker colours are lower down, brighter colours are higher up. That's more or less it, to be honest. Um, yeah, if you like this, just hit like. Um, if you want to see more of my stuff, just subscribe. Um, but yeah, cheers guys, and thanks for your time, I hope this helped. Thank you.